Okay, I'm here with Candy Myers, who's on one of the first in line to uh, go into the uh, free health clinic here in Kansas City. Candy worked for Quest Diagnostics, Quest Diagnostics and lost her job. Um, while she was still insured, she had surgery, but she has not been able to have any follow-up on the surgery since she lost her job and her insurance. So Candy, tell us what's been happening in your life. Uh, I've been looking for work and doing the best you can. I mean, you have pains and you have problems and you just have to keep going because for some reason there is nothing in America to help those that don't have insurance to get affordable insurance. So you're just out in the cold and you're lost. And Candy, you said you had your surgery. When was the last time you saw a doctor? In January. So almost a year ago? Yes. And so you've had no follow-up? No, not since January. And do you take any medication? No. So you don't have well, that? just over-the-counter when I can. Uh, right. So what do you do when you need health care? You pray and you cry and you take a deep breath and keep going. There's nothing you can do. I mean, if you end up going to a doctor, you have a bill, and if you're not working, you can't pay the bill. So. And, and Candy, what do you have to say to the United States Senate? They, this body is debating the fate of health care reform at this very moment? I think that if they are as educated, as knowledgeable as they say they are, if they are hired by us, and they should do something for us. The resources are here, obviously. They need to be used correctly. We are Americans. We need help. And we elected them, put them in office, and I don't care what your political party is. You need to look at the people that you are supposed to be helping. And if they fail to pass health care reform, what will happen to people like you and well, others? People like me need to get up and vote and get the ones in that can't do something, and the ones that are already there need to do something. And what's going to happen to us? We're going to be standing in line for free health care whenever we can. Exactly. That's the only thing we can do. We'll be one of the 44,000 that don't make it this year. Right. Say that again? We'll be one of the 44,000 projected not to make it this year. 44,000? Give me... People without health insurance that will die because they haven't been able to see a doctor or get health care. 44,000 Americans. Mm -hmm. yes. And what does that tell you about America? There are some gaps. Saddam Hussein wasn't that bad, was he? There's some... I mean, we're over there fixing his regime, and we're, we're killing off as many Americans. Okay, thank you both.